Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So I just dropped that, uh, that should I quit YouTube video. And uh, I knew it was going to do better than a lot of other videos because I know, you know, uh, drama brings attention. Wasn't, uh, wasn't surprised by that. Got a lot of hate. Got a lot of hate. Got a lot of support too. So if y'all support it, you know, I appreciate y'all. Some people stopped before it got to the end. So like I said, I started off with this. I'm not going nowhere. Whether y'all like me or don't like me, I'm not going nowhere. If uh, y'all don't like my content, don't watch it. I don't watch people's content that I don't like. But anyway, you're going to do what you're going to do. You're going to watch my content and not like it. You're going to drop your little hateful comment. You know, an asshole. You know, you're worse than that. It is what it is. Anyway, this video is not about that. I just feel bad because when I was trying to name off the channels that I uh, that I actually watch and that has been very influential for my channel and that I feel has been influential for the hobby in general, uh, so I want to do better. So this video is really just a channel shout out. And if any of y'all really do support, I would appreciate it if you would go and you know show them some support too. Go over there, hit the subscribe button, and. Uh, you don't even have to let them know I sent you. I don't. I don't really care. You don't even have to let them know I sent you. I don't even care. But I just want to, you know, do better. You know, I realize that I, I've been pretty much an asshole myself. For a long time, I've been watching videos, and since I watched it on the TV, you know, they just made it to where you get the like button. But uh, prior to that, I wasn't going to the phone and then, you know, liking the video. And then if I watch it on TV, I don't get the chance to comment. So I know some of y'all are kind of like that as well. Y'all might watch it on TV. And it's very hard to like or comment on a video. But making that video, I realized how much of an asshole I've been. So I need to do better than that. So the last video was really about all creators. Like, I'm more upset about the fact that we're losing these good creators. But anyway, let's do a little channel shout out. We going, it's going to take some time. So if y'all rock with me, y'all rock with me. If y'all don't, y'all don't. Nonetheless, we about to shout out all these channels that uh that i feel like deserve recognition and we should do something about this is in not any this is not in any specific order but uh it needs to be done so we're going to start off with aquarium domain so i have a high respect for aquarium domain they have done and he is doing a tremendous job with developing that fish room i mean it's something i think all y'all want to see y'all should definitely get on over there and check him out we have Joey, King of DIY, gets a lot of hate. I don't understand it. If you're really into the hobby, you would, you would understand why I respect him and respect his channel. Anyway, King of DIY, check him out. Now this one, I got to take some time to talk about him. The Blind Fish Keeper. You heard me right, the Blind Fish Keeper. Check him out. This guy is amazing, and that's the kind of dedication, that's the kind of inspiration that I want to have. Because for him to have that type of disability and still create beautiful aquariums that he escaped himself, how many of y'all would still make a YouTube channel if you were blind? How many of y'all would choose a fish hobby out of all hobbies that, you, that it's all about looking at? as the hobby that you want to go into. So the blind fish keeper, please get on over there, show some support. I mean, his sub count is low, it shouldn't be low. Like I said, he's the epitome of what this hobby should be about, in my opinion. So the blind fish keeper, y'all. KG Tropicals. Some of y'all might recognize these names as I'm naming off. KG Tropicals, come on now. If y'all don't know, if y'all really into the fish hobby, if you don't know, that's fine. Just get on over there, check them out. KG Tropicals. I'm going to put in the first comment, I'm going to put everyone's name and everyone's link in that first comment. Primetime Aquatics. Another great guy. 1,200 videos out. Obviously, he's doing a lot for the hobby. And uh, you might, if you're really into it, you really want to know some things, educated dude, help you out. We have Off the Deep in Aquatics. My boy Mike Terrell, 
One of the ones that we might have lost. I hope we didn't. I hope he comes back. Mike Terrell, off the deep end aquatics. Check him out. Wapot Mel. This is like the godfather of Dovi fish. If you're not into Dovi fish, you might not know who he is. You might not care. But again, somebody that you might want to check out their channel. If you like Dovi fish, you definitely want to check out his 27 inch Dovi that he had. Obviously, it's passed on, but 27 inches. Thing was like nine inches tall. Yeah, sounds crazy. It is. Check him out. Andy Woods Cichlids. Come on, let's get to it. Great guy, from what I could tell. You should check him out. Check him out. If y'all like cichlids, y'all like these uh, um, wet pets, big fish only in one tank, he got them for you. Go over there, check him out. Hit that subscribe button, show some support. Big Fish Lad, what's up, Paul? Yeah, another great guy. Does a lot for the hobby. He deserves his recognition. Big Fish Lad. In D tanks. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all might know who that is. He does phenomenal aquascapes. If you don't know what aquascape is, it's basically you're landscaping inside of your aquarium. Check him out. Show some support. Hit that subscribe button. Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. I know some of the youngsters might know who that is. Blake is a really good dude. Has a, man, <laughs> I said it when I went on my zoo tour. He does an amazing job with the animals that he has. And I say animals. He has a whole warehouse, fish, just built a beautiful, insane 6,000 gallon cement aquarium for his fish, Air Pima. He has all the exotic fish and exotic pets that I went and I actually seen at the zoo. The Kappa Bears, uh, he has the, 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 the birds. I mean, just, it's ridiculous. Aviary, that's where I got the aviary idea. Obviously mine is nothing like what he has, but man, check him out. Show some support. Youngster just had a kid, check him out. It's easy to go over there and watch the video, subscribe. Your family might enjoy it as well. Cam Kennan. Now Kennan is one of those guys I've been watching for a lot of years. And uh, he's just getting crazier and crazier with the things he's keeping. I mean, he has small caimans. He has large American alligators. I mean, all types of monitors and snakes and big recreation ponds. I mean, I enjoy the content. I think you might as well. Check him out. Show some support. Hit that subscribe button. Man, IFG. My boy Evan. We lost him, I think. I don't think he's going to come back. You know, sometimes, you know, after putting in your time, you know, the hate gets to you, you know, especially when you're a real person, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I hope he comes back, but still go check him out. Maybe if he get, you know, maybe if he gets some support, maybe that'll bring him back. I don't know. He got rid of all of his tanks. But again, this is the point. This is the reason why I had so much energy in my video when I made it just the other day, because people like that, we lose them and we shouldn't be losing you know, these people that's in a hobby that's really contributing. Again, my opinion, like I said, I watch all these channels. I have over 40, over 40 names, over 40 channels right here. I watch them all. I told you I'm a fan of the hobby first. Then I'm a creator. I do this because I enjoy doing it. I'm not doing this for financial benefit. Clearly, like I said in the last video, I don't make nothing off of it. And if you think I was crying about making anything, not making anything off of it, then you clearly missed the point of the video. The point of the video was that we should not be just making our creators feel like shit, you know, not showing the support, things like that. You know, you drop these negative comments. Some people can take it. Some people can't. Like I said, you know, it's not even fair that some of the people that I'm out the name or that I have name don't get the support they deserve. But anyway, back to the list. Boss Aquatics, another great channel. Another great channel, amazing fish room, does a lot for the hobby, really connects with the people. And, uh, you know, go show some support. Hit the subscribe button. Mr. Feet the Fish, a little bit newer to the game, but you know what? He's really heavy in the saltwater side of things. He knows how to do some things. And again, show that support. Get on over there. Hit the subscribe button. Make it, man, run his, run his, run his subscriber count up. Run his likes up. It don't cost a single thing for you to, for you to do that. It don't cost anything. 
we got Mike Loves Life Aquatics. Go check him out. Man, I just got tapped in with dude. And uh, we're going to do some things. We definitely got a, uh, we're going to have like a live stream or something going soon. And, uh, you know, that will be something that y'all can see. But again, get on over there. Show some support. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, just, we got to do better. We got to do better. Like I said, I'm really speaking to myself as well. And I'm going to start using these videos as an outlet, especially with y'all talking y'all shit. We're going to, let's do it. Um, Nick Bingo, out of Florida. Youngster going crazy. He has a massive 6,500 gallon pool pond for his saltwater fish. I mean, if you like big green eels and emperor snappers and lionfish, test a lot of eels, shark stingrays, you might enjoy the channel. You got kids, they might enjoy the channel. Nick Bingo, Atari to Aquarius, somebody that is also doing good for the hobby. Built his own plywood aquarium. You know, we got to nudge him a little bit. You know, I think maybe the lack of views, lack of support has caused him not to post as much. But again, that support goes a long way. That support goes a long way. Fishy Biz Aquatics. Man, that's a, that says, man, that name says it for itself. Fishy Biz. You got to check him out. He be at the conventions. He be at the at the fish shows and things like that. Go get on over, get on over there. Check him out. Hit the subscribe button. Show some support. Veteran Aquatics. It's another great guy. Been in the hobby for some years, probably about as long as me, if not like a little bit, like probably probably a little bit longer than me, in a matter of fact. But you know, get on over there. Check him out. We have Big Tank Hank. You definitely want to check him out. Man, I know some of y'all might know who he is, but if you don't, we got Big Tank Hank. Man, check him out. Check him out. Get on over there. Show some support. He does a lot of interviews with us and with a lot of different creators in the hobby. Check him out. Rob's Aquatics. Now, that guy is going insane right now in Florida. You know, you know, it might be it might see the little crazy afro. But yeah, man, like get on over there. Check him out again. Show some support. Hit the subscribe button. It don't cost a single thing. DWS Darius Fish Tanks. Now, I've kind of messed up his name in the last video, and I apologize. But DWS Darius Fish Tanks. This guy been around for a long time. He's contributed so much to the hobby. All he needs is a little bit of support. Goes a long way. One more fish. Just found one more fish about a week and a half ago. Blew my mind. He does amazing things with his bills, with the filtration, with all of that. If y'all like DIY stuff, you'll like his channel. SC Fish Keeping. Another guy, again. If you like muskies, ponds, all that kind of stuff, aggressive predator fish, again, a great channel to follow. Oh, the big boys over here. OFR, Ohio Fish Rescue. Come on now, Big Rich. We got Big Rich and we got Josh. We also got Reaper too. Can't forget about Reaper. But we got the boys over there out of Ohio. Man, they set the bar. They set the bar with, with everything. I mean, they have every fish that I would want to own, aside from the Asian arowana. They have, fit, let's put it like this, 56,000 gallon pool full of arapaima, catfish, um, arowanas. I mean, they have everything in there. I mean, they have the Zantic gars, um, alligator gar. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Have y'all ever seen a big 4,400 gallon tall tank? You ever see a guy standing there with a, with a mullet? That's Big Rich. Ohio Fish Rescue. I know I'm not telling some of y'all something. I know y'all already know. But, uh, man, for those of you that don't know, OFR, Ohio Fish Rescue. You will not regret tapping in with them, looking at what they have, hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button, show some support. Bama Bass. Out of Alabama, 
Man, they just built a five acre pond. You heard that right? Five acre pond. Enough said. I watch them whenever they drop a video. They drop a video like every two weeks, so twice a month. I'll be tuned in. Tuned in. So, watch them. Go show some support. Hit that subscribe button. Do all that. Caveman Aquatics. Now, I hope y'all know who he is. If y'all don't, Kev, man, he does his thing. He keeps his tanks pristine. He's always educating, always doing his best to try to help those in the hobby, and that's what it's about. This, the content that we create, in my opinion, since, we, since you're listening to me, in my opinion, it should be about educating, inspiring, things like that, because why else, like, YouTube's a search engine. You search it for something, you need answers to something. So, as creators, we try our best to provide those answers. The benefit of that is that there's multiple channels so you can find multiple different answers so you don't always just have to go with one answer. But he does an amazing job of doing just that. Aquarium Co-op, we got Corey. Now, y'all might go to your local fish stores and you see that green box that says Aquarium Co-op. Talking about the same person? Corey. Enough said. Enough said. Man, he literally has devoted his life to not only educating but now he's developing and providing the equipment that is needed to assist you in your aquarium so he went from talking about this what you do i add a sponge on my filter intake now he makes the sponge for your filter intake now you don't have to kind of get one and modify it he makes it for you so again aquarium co-op get over there hit the subscribe button show a little support High Y and Fish Keeper, my boy Mel out here. We got to tap in with each other. Man, great guy. Just went crazy with building a nice, things like 6,000 gallon pond outside in his backyard. Him and his boy Dennis Ricci. Ricci. Check him out. Check him out. Show some support. Get over there. Bring his sub count up. Hit the like button. Like I said, this is free. It's free. Tazawa Tanks. Zenzo, out of San Francisco. Man, again, been doing this for a long time. Works with Corey at Aquarium Co-op. Really does an amazing job with his fish room. It's more like a fish gallery. Looks amazing. Check it out. If y'all like African cichlids, mud skippers, I mean, just, he has it all. All, you, all I can do is just say, just get on over there, check it out, hit the subscribe button. You know, you won't regret it. Now, Paul Cafaro. Uh, now, I know a bunch of y'all know who Paul Cafaro is. Great kid. I've been watching him since he was probably like 17. You know, he influences the young community to the highest. Does a lot. He has practically a ranch over there in Florida. Crazy, crazy. That kid is, is um, I'm sure his parents are proud. I put it to you like that. So if you're a youngster and you don't know who Paul Cafaro is, you might want to go and check him out. Uh, man, what could I say? I mean, this kid is, just check him out. You'll see for yourself. We have Carson Aquatics, another channel that, you know, a little bit of extra support, a little subscribe goes a long way. I'll watch him. Right now, he's putting that fish room together. It's looking good. Got ponds over there. Ponds for his turtles. Man, build little 3D backgrounds. All that fun stuff. All that DIY stuff. He's about that. Check him out. Barb's buzzing. Now, you, I'm pretty sure some of y'all might know who, the, who, those, who, the, who those brothers are. But again, they're out of Florida. Insane stuff with the, with the, with the saltwater hobby. Big ponds. And a lot of uh, and a lot of dedication and motivation. So, again, you don't have to pay a single thing to go and subscribe. Brian Barzit. Some people say Barchick, but Brian, man, what could I say? I mean, this guy is literally. Man. You know, I'm, 
he's dealing with so much right now, but yet you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know it by the energy that he puts into everything that he does every day. This guy posts video posts videos every day, and uh, man, I don't want to tell his business. You know what? I don't think that he would care. This guy is dealing with cancer, and yet, like I said, he's still posting every day. And even if it's not every day, he's still posting more than someone that has no sickness going on. Still believing in his dreams, still planning his, still planning his dreams. He's extending his reptarian where he has a lot of reptiles and he does tours and things with the kids and things like that to his aquarium that's across the street called Legacy. I think that word, I think that name is really befitting for, for that aquarium. You know, being that I lost my, I lost my dad to cancer when I was five, uh, you know, that kind of like, it touches me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've, I've known people that, that has passed away from cancer. It's, it's no joke. You know, I, I definitely feel like fuck cancer to the fullest. And uh, man, this guy, he's really setting a bar, setting a bar. And it's so inspirational, so motivating. It's so, uh, it's touching. You know, it kind of changed up my mood a little bit, you know what I mean? Because really, it got to be hard, you know? So, if you can, just seriously, just get on over, just get over there, check him out. Brian Barzik. Again, all the links will be in the description. Well, not in, not in the description, but be in the first comment. Find his name, get over there, and just show some support. Show some support. Now, we got some... Some pond guys in here. <laughs> Red with Stock the Pond Guy. Team Aqu Team Aquascape. Man. Now, I thought I was gonna get them over here to build a pond for me, but that ain't happened yet. <laughs> but they have built ponds all over the world. Team Aquascape. Insane ponds. Insane ponds. Insane builds. They have pondemonium every year. If you want to learn how to build ponds. They have pandemonium in Chicago. You could definitely get over there, take a flight over there, learn how to build ponds yourself. But they have a channel called Team Aquascape where they show you how they're building these ponds. They take you behind the scenes, all that fun stuff. Greg loves his job. I would too. Ed the Pond Professor. Now he works with Greg Whitstock. And uh, Ed, from what I could tell, is a 100% great and genuine guy. Very intelligent marine biologist. And uh, man, his personality matches his education. It matches the kind, like it's all it's together, together. So check him out. Check him out. Get over there, hit the subscribe button. Show a little support. Aqua Pros. Another channel that I feel like deserves more recognition. Check them out. Show a little support. Hit the subscribe button. It don't cost a single thing. Then I tell you, I have a lot of different people on this list. I told you I watch a lot of different channels. See, I, like I said, I'm a student of the hobby. I'm not, I didn't put any names on here that I don't watch or I haven't watched since I've been actually watching YouTube. We have Patello. He's one of my subscribers. What's up, bro? You always show support. I know it's real. And, uh, you know, go check him out. He got an awesome turtle named Ollie, probably short for Oliver. And uh, clearly he loves his turtle. You, clearly, you can learn something from him, and you probably, and I'm sure you'll enjoy his content. So, Patello, again, it's going to be in the comments. Get on over there, hit the subscribe button. Prime Cichlids. I just met with him this past weekend. Sold him a few Dovi Feste Fry. Good dude. Good dude. I've been trying to encourage him to make more videos, but uh, I think with y'all getting on over there and hitting that subscribe button showing some support that to get them going that to get them going so 
Prime, Prime Cichlids. Man, he got some crazy. You thought that my Dovi Feste fry was something? Man, he got a Jag, Dovi, and Red Air Tiger Motive Wins mix. That's crazy, right? You gotta see it for yourself. You gotta see it for yourself. Go over there, hit that subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. Check them out. We got Predatory Fence. Oh man, big we got Rod over here. Y'all already know who Rod is. If you don't, then you probably just haven't really been tapped in, but I'm about to tap y'all in right now. Predatory Fence, one of the biggest fish distrib distributors in the world at this time. Predatory Fins kind of speaks for itself. If you want a big fish, big predator fish, you like all that, they got it for you. Exotic, they got it for you. Stingrays, they got whatever you want, whatever you need. Y'all, if y'all, y'all sometimes ask me where do I get my fish from, where can I get a certain fish from, I would tap in with Predatory Fins first. Go to their website, look them up, see what the inventory is. The beauty of Predatory Fins is that they actually show in their videos the stocking as they get it shipment from brazil brazil shipment from china shipment from wherever they do it right there in the video it's not a lot of distributors that's doing that so you literally see the fish that you're going to get when they get it you see the health that they're that they're that they're in you see all of that check them out now i had to say imperial tropicals right got my dove from imperial tropicals I was so glad when they made this YouTube channel because I've always been going to their websites, you know, looking at their inventory to buy fish. Well, both of my dovies from the other one, um, the female dovie, eh, you know, she passed away some years ago. But, you know, Big Mr. Dovie and his 800 gallon, that's where I got it from. That's where I got it from, Imperial Tropicals. So they have a fish farm that has I don't know, probably 100, 200 pounds. I don't know. I haven't counted them. If you watch them, you'll know. You got, you maybe you could tell me. Nonetheless, the ones that always catch my eye is where they got the dough eye from. I wanted to see where my fish came from. Imperial Tropicals. Check them out. So we, so we got Kev over there at Stingray Biology. Now, he teamed up with Rod over there at Predatory Fins. So he hasn't really been posting lately, but that don't mean that we don't have to go over there and hit that subscribe button. Hit a like button on some of those videos. Now, Kev is that's like a genius when it comes to breeding stingrays. He's going to have all these different color morphs, these antics, all of these different types of stingrays that aren't even made in, that you won't even see in the wild. So you might want to check it out. Again, like I said, you support predatory fins. You're also supporting Kev. But get on over there to Stingray Biology, you know. Show a little support. The small skate. You got to get over there and check her out. You have to get over there. Hit the subscribe button. Show some support. Just do that. Just do that. She's educating. She's helping. She's going through the motions with everybody the same way that we would want it to be. The same way. Solid Gold Aquatics. If y'all not familiar with her. Go ahead and get familiar with her. Get over there to her page. I don't, I'm not sure she's still doing fish. You know, these negative comments sometimes get to people. Now, she's been around for some time. Long enough to where she should be a, a staple in this hobby. So, the best way to make sure that people like this don't go anywhere is from support. So, get over there, hit the subscribe button, show some support. TM Aquatics, another one that, again, subscribe to the channel, show some support. Fish Story, enough said, enough said. Literally everything from the inside of the aquarium to the outside of the aquarium, that means the filtration, all of that, he dives into it, he does his best to educate and inspire, so... Again, TM, TM Aquatics. Aquarium Adventures. Man. I watch his channel. He literally just made an outdoor pond all solar. Outdoor pond all solar. Nothing's ran off of battery. Don't nothing has to be plugged in. 
He built his 800 gallon plywood aquarium. Get over there, hit that subscribe button. I'm almost done, like I said, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. We got everyday Aquarius. Get over there, hit the subscribe button, show some support. King and Queen Cichlids. Now, their channel is just called King and Queen now, but Scott, you know, it's one of those channels that I feel like, you know, it was, it sucks that we lost them. You know, when I first started out, I was finding these channels on Dovi Cichlids, trying to learn everything I can about the Dovi because that's the fish that I was into. And, uh, sometimes the pressure gets to people. Like I said, you know, Y'all can say everything y'all want behind these screens. You know, keep we're warriors. Y'all don't even think about the the impact that it has on some people, but y'all won't even say the shit to people's face. So it's crazy. Like, don't be a don't be a keyboard warrior. If you really feel that way about somebody, say it to their face. If you're not gonna be able to see them and say it to their face, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Um and then we have two more. Chris the Mad Aquarius Biggs. He's not really mad. He's not really a mad Aquarius. Not at all. Not at all. He's a very educational, very influential guy that deserves a little bit more support. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Show some support. And now last one. This is definitely not least. Definitely not least. Father Fish. Triple, triple OG. Triple, triple OG. Man, if you don't know who Father Fish is, I advise you right now, this is the last one, right now, get over there, hit the subscribe button, show some support, and I'm telling you, you're going to learn some things. You're going to learn things that you never thought you would learn. That's the list. That's all I have. It was a long video, but uh, that's what it's about. It's really about supporting one another. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. You didn't. You probably didn't go and uh, go show any of these people support. And then uh, if you didn't, you know, can't make you do a damn thing. But if you did, if you are going to do so, you're the kind of people that the fish hobby need. We appreciate y'all. Speaking for everybody right now. Hopefully you go over there and show them support. We appreciate y'all. And uh, we fuck with y'all. Seriously. But anyway, another episode of Tapping In. Whether you like it or hate it, I don't care. I'm going to catch you in the next one.